Hello, everybody. How's it going? How's quarantine? How's your mental health? What's going on in the world today? Well, I'll tell you what's going on in my world. Staying up super late, editing, writing, researching. It just doesn't end. Not enough Wi-Fi, not enough time in this world. And I thought that I would just make a real quick video because a friend asked me the other day why I chose WordPress. And I got thinking about the reasons why. Why is it so hard to talk to yourself in a camera? However, for this episode, we're going to talk about whether you want to use Wix or you want to use WordPress. Alright, so... When building a website, you have a whole lot to think about. You got to think about who you want to build it with, who you want it to host with, what kind of website you're building, what's your niche, what are you going to write about. I mean, there's so many factors. Are you going to put it on Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram? How are you going to promote your business and why are you building this website? Well, when I was doing this research, I came across a video and maybe I'll put it in the links below if I can find it. It was the best description that I found between using Wix and WordPress. I had no schooling when it came to building websites. I have no idea what I was doing two years ago when I opened my first Shopify store and failed. And um, then I built another store and failed. And then this one, I haven't failed yet, but I'm putting in a whole lot more into it than I did with Shopify stores. And if you are considering doing a Shopify store, remember this, that it is much harder to sell things than what YouTube tells you. It is so much harder to sell crap because honestly, a lot of it is freaking crap. And if it's a higher end item, people like to see reviews. They like to know what the product is worth. And if you don't know what it's worth because you don't have it in your hands, then how are you supposed to sell it? And um, that was my biggest difficulty with um, the stores that I built. I built a Shopify store that was yoga clothes. And then I built another Shopify store that was just like tech consumer things, backpacks and cool little gadgets and so forth. And I probably invested at least six grand into these websites and they failed I was devastated for way too long about this and honestly it's just a giant learning curve when I looked back at it I learned how to build a website I learned all the back of the house thing I learned a lot I learned about Facebook Facebook pixel how to post ads how to target market I learned about Google Adsense and how to search what people are looking for I mean, I learned a lot and I probably wouldn't have learned any of it if I just built the website with Wix so when you're gonna build your website you have to think about two things are you building a website to represent your brand or is your website your brand because that is the big difference between choosing Wix and choosing WordPress. Now, I did have a Wix website for maybe a month. I decided I didn't like it. And the reason why I didn't like it is because I was trained on WordPress first. And when you go through WordPress, it is a giant learning curve. You do have to learn a whole lot more than you do with Wix. However, it is well worth it because then you have control. You know the back of the house. You know where to find the things, how to do the little tricks here and there, how to post it on stuff. The thing about Wix is that it gives you plugins. It gives you templates. It gives you everything you need to build a website. It's great. It's fine. It's simple, but you are very limited. You get like a choice, one choice to choose what you want to add to your website other than templates but plugins are very simple very basic and it doesn't do it for me um, I like options I like to look through see what perks other plugins have and Wix just is kind of greedy with what they show knowing like that there is a world of plugins out there um, but yeah so if you're choosing Wix because you want to represent your company very quick, efficient, and fast, then yeah, that's great. It's an easy website building um, experience. You don't have to learn much. You just 
plug it in. But WordPress allows you to get deeper. It allows you to learn the back of the house. You can dabble more and look up YouTube about coding and all that. You can get further deep into it. But it also has a lot of options. So like I personally love Elementor. I use it whenever I write a blog post. It makes it very easy for me to post a picture and then our social media links and then you know just different types of text or whatever. Uh, there's a lot of plugins on WordPress, which can be overwhelming, but, you know, you get a choice. You go and you look at the first five. They have great ratings. You see what's better than the other, and you choose one. You don't have to put too much thought into it. WordPress is pretty good about just weaning out the crap. So if you're looking to build a website, I do suggest just going with WordPress. Wix is easy and simple and fun, but you will always be with Wix because you can't ever transfer. You can't ever move it. And honestly, they're very similar in price. I think Wix is a little bit cheaper, but you get so much more with WordPress and so much more control and options. And if you sign up and you're looking to build a website, yes, you can build a website for free. You can have your whole website built up. But if you really want to run a business, then you're going to have to upgrade your website because, you know, nothing in life is free. You don't just get free money. You have to work for it. You have to pay for things. You have to build. So, um... If you are interested in building a website, go ahead and down in the description, click the link, and when you build your website, you'll get $25 off of your hosting, I think, off of something. You get $25, um, and I get, I get paid. So, um, yeah, I highly, highly suggest using WordPress. Um, I said this before and I'll say it again if you just want a website that's super quick easy fast don't need anything too complicated it's just gonna sit there and be a website then sure use Wix you it's easy but if you are looking to build a brand and your website is your store or I mean your website is your brand and you're selling things from your website instead of just using it as a storefront to your business then do not use Wix. Use WordPress. Uh, if you are about to build a website, just know that you can do it for free right now and build a whole website and then pay for the upgrade once you feel comfortable with what you've built. So there you have it. If you plan on building a website, I personally suggest using WordPress. It's very efficient. It's nicer to learn all the things than just to dumb your way through it. And if you are going to build your website, yes, you can build your website for free. No, it will not get the attraction that you want it to. You do need to upgrade if you are serious about blogging. However, if you go right now and you go build it and you go down below and you click my little link, you get $25 off. So that's a really good deal. Go ahead, go down there and get it started. Build your blog, build your dream, and do it right. Don't do it with this secondhand store crap. The Wix is okay if you're just trying to put a face in front of your brand. It is not good for selling things. It is not good for building. It's just a face. So, there you have it. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. And please hit that subscribe button and the notifications. If there's any ads, just let them play. Let me get that credit. And uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe and sanitized.